We have now seen how the Spring Web Services project was generated from the Maven archetype inside IntelliJ. Let's review. We had a look at all the elements generated in the pom.xml. We changed the name and URL link from the default. We changed the order of the build and dependencies elements. We upgraded both the Maven compiler plugin and the Maven Tomcat plugin to Java 7, which is what our fictional insurance company use. Later, we will add the JAXV2 plugin to the palm.xml so that we can generate our Java classes from our insurance service XML definition file. In the web.xml, we changed the default generated display name. We also added a reminder comment for ourselves here to add an init param element to the generated servlet element. As documented in the official API documentation, this init param element will enable relative address locations in the whistle to be transformed using the request URI of the incoming HTTP servlet request. We reviewed the Spring WS servlet.xml, which is essentially a XML Spring application context file that was generated for us from the Maven archetype. The annotation driven element was added for us during the Maven archetype generation. This element will enable the payload root annotation endpoint mapping in our SOAP. Spring endpoint class. We also added some more reminder comments for ourselves here. When we implement the SOAP endpoint, we will require a component scan context for our annotated Spring elements, such as services and components, and the dynamic whistle element will dynamically generate the whistle for us from our XSD file. In our manual whistle generation tutorial, we generated a XSD file from the incoming insurance request and outgoing insurance response XML files. We did this inside of IntelliJ as part of the process on how to manually generate a whistle document. We will now use this XSD file together with the Maven JAXP2 plugin to generate our Java classes. The Maven JAXP2 plugin is an open source project of which you can get the full details in the link provided in the slide. Let's have a quick look at the Maven JAXP2 plugin. This Maven plugin wraps and enhances the JAXP schema compiler and allows compiling XML schema definition documents into Java classes as part of Maven Build. Looking at the quick start, it says put your schemas and bindings into the source main resources folder and add the plugin to your palm.xml. So this is exactly what we will do. Recall that when we manually generated the whistle file, we generated XSD files from XML files for insurance request and insurance response using IntelliJ. Then we combined those two generated XSD files into a single XSD file. We will now copy that file, insuranceservice.xsd, into the source main resources folder. Let's run Maven Clean Compile in IntelliJ and see what happens.
as we can see we got a bold success so let's have a look at the target output directory here we can see all the java classes generated for us by running the jaxp2 plugin this is the generated insurance request java class from the xsd as we can see it contains the applicant type the insurance info type and the widget info type this is the generated insurance response java class that was generated for us with the jaxp2 plugin as we can see it contains the confirmation ID, the order date, and the amount. 